keep that tube together for you. Now I'm going to continue with the red until row count 70. So I'm at row count 70. I'm going to switch to my stripe. Now on this first one, you don't have to worry about uh, pulling down the yank of hank of yarn because you had your yarn already set here. So that's already a big, pretty big one. So we're just going to do 10 rows. So we're going to go to row count 80. Now what we want to do is we do want to grab a hank of this red and I should have done that a while ago. So I'm going to grab that hank because what you do you, you don't want this to follow up on you. So I just got it in my hand. I'm just going to hold it with my hand. Now I'm going to go with the red and I knitted three rows of the red. Now I'm going to get my favorite yarn holder. This is my favorite yarn holder. I'm going to clip it onto that red yarn and just hold it stable. And now, now while I've got my lock over here, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to use my yellow tool and I'm going to grab that goat and I'm going to stick it in the, the clip over there just to hold it for me to when I get ready to it. So this is row 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, change colors. So here we go to another, our second stripe. We're at row count 90. So now I've got my stripe yarn and again I'm holding it. One, two, three. I'm going to take my and move it up. I'm going to take my and move it up to the gold yarn. This is bright yellow. Now I'm going to take my yellow tool again. I'm going to go underneath there. And I'm going to grab that red and I'm going to throw it in the yarn holder. Okay, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We completed one pattern. So we're going to switch over to the red again. And now we're going to go back and we're going to knit 70 rows. But at row count 50, or 150 in this case, but when we get to about 50 rows, we're going to do that where we put some um, the purl stitches over to keep it from warmth. We're going to do that on every red around 50. And if you get, if you forget and do 60 rows, that's fine. Go ahead and do it at 60. You don't have to unravel 10 rows to do it. And we're going to keep knitting this scarf till we get to row count 1,300. Then we'll end the uh, 13th pattern. So we're doing 13 stripes. But then we're going to knit an additional 70 rows in the red to make the scarf where you start with the red and you end with the red. So I'm going to come. I'm going to come back at 1,370 row counts to put the fringe on. Okay, we have completed our 1,370 rows, and now it's time to work on putting the fringe on the other end of the scarf. But first, we have to take the scarf off the bed. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the front bed on GX because we want to take it off half half the back bed first and we want to take off then the front bed next. So we want to be able to uh, have a true divide between the front bed and the back bed. So we're going to put the back bed on N and we're still using six, stitch size six. I'm going to add some hand tensioner to the scarf because we're just knitting on the back bed only right now. So. We've knitted about 16 rows on the back bed only and it's beginning to not want to knit anymore. So we're going to put the back bed now on BX and the front bed on N. And I'm going to pull down a length of this waist yarn so that I can cut it later. And now I'm going to do the same thing for the front bed. Okay, it's one, two, and it doesn't have to be equal or the same amount uh, on the um, the waist yarn. It can be, you know, more or less. It just depends. Okay, I'm going to take this down and I'm going to break it. 
And now what we want to do is we want to take and park the yarn and we can put it both beds on in in. I'm going to take the weights off. I've been moving those weights up as I knitted the whole time. And now I'm going to take the waist yarn off. And that wasn't good because I forgot to put my bed in in the six o'clock position. I could have broke a bunch of needles. So what we have now is we have the open scarf. We got a clean divide in what is front bed and what is back bed. So we're going to set this aside for right now. And now we're going to work on putting the fringe on the machine so that we can uh, get finish up the scarf. And we're going to drop the bed again. Now this time we're going to look at it a little bit different. We're going to look at, at the yarn. So you always want it this way, the fringe. Now this time, if we do it this way, it would flip up and it would not fit the scarf right. Let me show you again on, on the scarf. When we did it to begin with, we had it down and now see how it's going to flip up. See how it's down? Now we're going to flip it up and we'll tack it down and then we'll release the fringe later. So now this we got to look at that we're going to, we've already knitted the scarf, so we want the fringe to stay up with the scarf. So instead of putting the fringe facing the center of the bed, we're now going to put the fringe facing the, the bed itself, the back of the bed. So we're still gonna be picking up this, this stitch and we're gonna still start on the cast on edge of the fringe and I gotta find my orange tool I hid it under the scarf so we're gonna we're not gonna pick up this one because we're gonna use that for sewing it on so connecting the two pieces of fringe together so we're gonna start picking up and we just want to get the one little loop we don't want to catch the loop below it so now I'm just picking up that first loop so we'll pick up three or four and then skip one and that way we have a little bit wider deal now like the last time we did we can get our our weights and we're going to put it on the fringe part not not on the part we're connecting to the bed we're going to put it on that connect it up to that fringe Let's see if I can get that in there the way I want it I don't want it on that part of the fringe. I want it to catch there. There we go. I got it caught now. <coughs> so we're going to just work this across the bed like we did before. But now this time the fringe, remember, is facing the back of the, is facing the bed instead of facing the center of the machine. Okay, I'm going to go underneath and put a weight on. There I, there I got a weight on. Now it's time to put the fringe onto the front bed. Again, we're going to take a look at the fringe. And so it's this section that we're going to be put in and we're going to start again So we're going to fold this and have it facing the front bed. So it's going to end up going, starting to go in over here. So we're going to pick up that first stitch. And see how this fringe is now facing the bed? So it makes it a little clumsy. So we're going to go ahead and slide that on. And we're picking up those first little that first stitch first half of a stitch and we're put sliding that on don't want to catch the fringe 
So I'm going to pick up this stitch right there and get that on. I want to pull these down and now that I've got I want to keep the fringe out of my way so now I'm going to I'm going to pull some of that fringe down here with my orange tool. I want to get my two prong weight and I'm going to put a weight over here. I'm going to get this to hang on that fringe. There we go. I got the fringe. So that helps with with the folding. Helps with the holding. There we go. Now I can kind of see see my stitch that I want to pick up and move over. And we just keep working it over till we get to the end. Okay. So I'm just giving it a catch. I'm going to skip that one and I'm going to go over to the next one. Okay, now we've finished putting the fringe on the front bed. So I'm going to take a weight and I'm going to hang it on the fringe underneath. I want to see if I can catch that fringe to add a little weight. Okay, I think I grabbed it. So I want to push this in. Now that we got the fringe in, we're going to put the scarf back on. So we've got the scarf here. So this was the side. We're going to slide this over and we're going to slide it in. Get it in between that fringe. There we go. Now we're going to start putting our scarf stitches back on. So we're going to take our orange tool and we're going to start working our live stitches back on onto the bed. And I don't I do not have any weight on the scarf. I'm just working it back on. Now, remember that our uh, fringe is stitch size four and a half and this is stitch size six so we're going to be hand knitting off the fringe in a little bit but I'll show you that when we when we get this on Now I've pulled these needles up a little bit because I'm going to be working off the waste yarn as we do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this little piece of waste yarn and I'm going to take it and I'm going to pull it out. Now I'm going to take my orange tool and I'm going to pull it down because I want to get rid of that waste yarn because it's just too much bulk. So, but I don't want to pull it all out because I do want to keep some of it and protect it in case something falls off the machine a little bit so but we're going to bring bring up the needles a little bit I don't want anything to fall behind the latch so now I'm going to continue to picking up the live stitches as I go across and as I go across every so often I will stop and pull out about five or six stitches of the waste yarn I don't want to pull out a whole lot and make it really really tight so I'm just wanting to pull out a few just, just to get rid of some of the bulk that's underneath holding me up on the machine. So I want this right here. That's my live stitch. Okay, we're coming down to the last two little stitches. So we got to these, these last ones are always hard to find. There, there it is. There's the loop on that last stitch. I can get my hands on it. 
I'm going to go ahead and cut some more of this off here. Get this bulk out of my way. Pull it down. There we go. Does that give me a little pulling room here? Because I can see that I can see my stitch right there. It's kind of tight for some reason. I'm going to pull some more off. Okay. So let's see. Trying to get this waist yarn here loose. There we go. That gives me my. Should be able to get my hold of my stitch now. There we go. And of course, the last one's always a half loop stitch. So there's the last one right there. So now we're going to get rid of this waist yarn. So I'll get it to release. There we go. Let's pull it down out of the way. Okay. So now what we do is we've got two stitches here. And I, I don't want to work it off but what I want to do now and I think I'll start back over here on this side is I want to work that stitch four and a half off so here's my stitch size six that's my scarf let me pull that down so we're just going to work that off and we're just going to work it off across I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way you want just that just the fringe loop to fall behind the latch and then we're going to just hand knit it through that gives us when we go to knit the finishing rows on the scarf the finishing two rows so that we can work get the scarf off the machine we don't want all that bulk so we're getting rid of as much bulk as possible okay now we've got that one finished now we're going to come back over here and we're going to work on it. We always want to start with this part of the stitch because it's easier for us to see the first stitch, the first live stitch. So it's right here. That's our first live stitch. So we're going to take that and we're going to bring it on to the needle. And we can bring this a little bit, this one we can bring a little bit higher out if we need to. So, if we if we do get drop them behind the latches, it's easy enough to to fix it to get them both going right. Because we're working right here with the drop drop part of the bed. So, picking up that live stitch. And we're gotten a lot of st stuff in between these beds, I tell you, right now. So we can stuff some of this down there. We got two sets of fringe doubled over. So that's double thickness on the fringe. And then the scarf is back in here too. So that's a little thick and crowded in here. Now it's a little bit easier now as we get down further away from the beginning to keep the needles closer to the bed. So we're going to take what we've been doing and we're going to cut the waist yarn. I think it's this one I want to pull. 
it on out. And I'm going to take and grab it and see if I can't pull it down. Hopefully enough later on that I can grab it and pull it on out easier. Okay, so here we go. Back to the... Pull this up a little. Back to picking up live stitches. Okay, we're coming to our last few live stitches and again it's going to be tied on this end so see if I can pull some of this waste yarn out of my way there we go it gave me this live stitch here and I can see this live stitch if I can get it it's no it's a little tight so there we go get it out of there here's this next to the last life stitch is this one right here and see it's always a half a stitch it looks like a half a stitch at the end that's that last little part so let's see if we can this waist yarn loose there we go there's my last stitch want to get it freed stitch right there and I want to grab see if I can grab this waist yarn and pull it out from underneath okay throw that away I want to shut the beds let's make sure everything is secure here okay I don't we have weights in the way. I want to put these needles up a little bit so I don't drop anything off of them. There we go. So now we're going to do the same thing we did on the back bed. 